Hi Jeff. Hi, how are you? Good. Can you can you make me a short demo again? Uh, I'll start from scratch just to make it clean. So, so we have here is our large latest prototype. It's an eight foot long multi touch display wall, comfortable enough for multi comfortable enough for multiple people to use simultaneously. So we initiate a menu like that, and we can bring up our canonical map application. I can choose from a bunch of different data sources, about a dozen of them. Same usual gesture, but now that I screen real estate, I can start doing more interesting things, like putting in a, a secondary layer that acts as a lens that I can move around like that. It really allows me to do take advantage of screen real estate, use both my hands, and allow multiple people to work together, actually. What I can do here is actually take this context. Uh, I can, you know, mark it up and then I'll you know, pass it over to a colleague here to work on at the same time that I'm working here. So, see that's quite, quite, quite advanced functionality here. So let's put that away. Just like with uh, mass, we can put up uh, microscopy data. This is a scanning electron microscope uh, scan of a firefly. We can take a look at some other things, like this guy. I can, again, add a lens that actually acts as an enhancement layer here on the inside. You can change it to an edge detector, actually, so it can add some interesting structural analysis of the image, like that. I can even add a relative zoom, so it acts like a little photographer's loop on the inside, like that. So, we can also bring up text field, bring up the keyboard, type in whatever we want. We can type in a uh, oh, six apart. I wonder if uh, go like that. And all of a sudden, I get a whole bunch of images. And again, very quickly sort through them both my fingers, zoom them around. I can say, all right, let's clip her out and bring it over there. You know. I can then, okay, pass it over to him. <laughs> and once I have so many assets up on screen, I'm going to start to need organizational tools so I can do things like that and spread them all around like that. And go so, we have a lot of other features here. We didn't have time to show everything, but uh, I can also bring in the models here. Wow. Where did you get the idea, Jeff? Oh, I was really tired of. I've seen there. Was, I mean, multi-touch is not a new concept. It's been around for a very long time. I, I'm just a you know an engineer, and I had a background in graphics, and I saw interfaces as being the bottleneck rather than the quality of the graphics. So, seeing touch screens, I'm a very tactile person, but I hated the normal touch screens, and I tried to figure out why. And then I realized single touch is really the issue, and so multi-touch has been something that's been attempted for a while, um, but. Now that we have good computing power and good graphics, we're able to now I, I decide to tackle the problem of designing that sensor. So this is our technology where our sensor is far beyond any other sensor that's out there for touch and allows us to build all these wonderful applications and interfaces on top. So, so well, that's very frustrating. It's only 2D. When do we have 3D? 3D is a, is a complicated like in, in, What is this movie in Minority Report, right? Well, we're very different from Minority Report, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, your, your body is actually, it turns out to be very bad at manipulating things without something to push up against. So you can't really do that much working in thin air like that. You really need to push against something to feel like you're directly manipulating something. So. Going 3D would actually be a step backwards and making very large 2D surfaces is what we're interested in. When do we get it? Oh, we're shipping already. Uh, you know, it's uh, early adopters, of course, at first, but eventually this technology is definitely going to trickle down. So I could, I could buy this screen already? How much is it? You could. It's, uh, you know, it's classified. <laughs> <laughs> but I can get it. And what do I do with it? Do I have to load it? Is it, is it online already? Is it... Well, How do we have to load it manually with stuff? Or? Well, we come with SDKs and APIs that let you then interface it to your own data sources or even build your own applications if you'd like. You know. Cool, congratulations. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks a lot. Let's get to the news.